This is an absolute must have for your hobby arsenal. Guys, welcome back to the video. Today we are doing something just a little bit different. First, I want to say a massive thank you to Secure for sending me over this Secure portable soldering iron. It's called the Secure D60B and it's a portable soldering iron and it's made to fit with your hobby batteries. Guys, before we open up the D60B soldering iron, yes, I am sent some products just like this soldering iron and just kind of like this messed up K truck at the moment. Video coming on that soon. But I'm not actually paid to say anything about the product. So, like RC cars before and this product here, my review will be how I feel about it, not what I'm paid to say. I just wanted to make that really clear with you guys. And if for some reason I am to ever get a paid sponsorship, just know that I'm not going to accept anything that I don't like. Actually, the only thing that Secure requested was I to do a standalone video. So I thought that was pretty fair. So that's what I'm doing today. We're going to do a video on this thing. We're going to see how fast it heats up, what kind of batteries it can take, how much is it, and is it going to be worth it? Quick teaser, I've got some videos coming up, guys. We've got this one, this one. Oh, do you know what it is? This one, still working on that one, this one. I've really got a lot of videos coming out, guys. I plan like a month ahead, so heaps to go. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate every single one of you guys. All right, let's get on with it. Let's check out what comes in the box. Okay, first off, let's read the back of it. The product name is the Mini Intelligent Electric Soldering Iron. Product brand is Secure. Voltage is 12 to 24 volts. So essentially, you could run this off a 3S or up to a 6S. The power is 60 watts, and then all that good other stuff that I don't really understand. All I need to know is how many volts it will take and how hot will it get. Okay, so that's really it on the box. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, that was easy. Stickers, instruction manual, don't need that. All right guys, it even comes with some tools. We've got the soldering iron. So here's the soldering iron here, it does come in two halves. Uh, the tip and the, I don't know what you'd call it, the handle. And that slides in there. And then when you slide this down, I have had a little look at it. Uh, you just have to tighten up these bolts and then that way this won't come out. And the awesome thing is, is you can order whatever tip that you prefer. I like this bigger tip as it's going to work better for the bigger RC cars. Or if you're someone that likes to do narrow soldering work, then you can order a smaller tip. Guys, if you're looking to get into the RC hobby or you're already in the RC hobby and you don't know how to solder, soldering is something that's really, really important. You're going to have to learn it eventually, well not technically, but it's a really good skill to have. And with this portable soldering iron, I can't explain how many times I have gone out and either a connector's fallen loose or just something I've had to re-solder. For example, for example, I took out this WL Toys 124019 and as you can see, the motor wires need to be soldered. And unfortunately, when I soldered it at home, I I accidentally bridged the motor connectors. After going out and find a location, I had to come all the way home just to give it a little nick with the soldering iron to make sure that it wasn't connected. <laughs> Let me tell you now, guys, this thing would have come in super handy. If you haven't seen me get this thing to 100 miles an hour, go check that out, leave a video just up here somewhere. Back onto the soldering iron. Okay, that fell down. Also in the package, you get this little stand and, and this little wiping pad so you can wipe the soldering iron on. It is only small, but it will get the job done. So the stand sits like that, put the soldering iron on, and boom. Next up, you also get a bunch of connectors. This is the USB-C, which will go into the bottom of the soldering iron. And then this is more of like a wall outlet to a computer. You can either plug this into, that plugs in like that, and then you can plug this into your battery. This is an XT60. You can't get an adapter to an XT90 or something like that. If you're at home and you want to plug it in to use it for a bit longer, you'll just need a socket like this that will plug into the wall, and you'll need to get one that's about 24 volts. Like I said earlier, guys, you just have to pull this down to secure the tip. Then you grab out your little tool. It comes with three screws and an Allen key to get the job done. As far as I'm aware, these three Allen key screws are actually just spares, and the two that already come in there, you just go in and tighten them up. You don't want to do it too tight, just enough to grip onto the actual iron tip itself. And there you go, guys, it's not coming out. So far, guys, I'm actually really liking this thing. The build quality is awesome. 
and it's actually really, really cheap. I'll leave links in the description below where you can pick it up from. I believe this is about $30 to $35. This is the B model, and you can get the A model, which is a little bit cheaper, but the B model actually has the LCD screen here and allows you to fully adjust the heat settings. Whereas the A, the cheaper model, only allows you to do three settings, and this will show you in real time how fast it's heating up, which I'll show you that in a minute. So let's get the battery hooked up. All right, guys, first test is gonna be on this WL Toys 124019. We're going to unsolder and resolder these motor wires using the secure DC. 60B. So this is quite a big 6S battery, however it's the only one I have and all I've done is just made up a small adapter to go from the XT90 to the XT60. Alright, let's plug this bad boy in, USB into the bottom, and then you got quite a long cord once you unravel everything. We're just going to plug that into the bottom there, plug the XT60 into each other. As from here, you want to set how high you want the temperature. Okay guys, so left is to go down and right is to go up. If you want to set it to the tires at 400, which I generally do, you just want to hold this button down until you go all the way up to 400. Once it's there, hit these two simultaneously and as you can see, the increase in temperature. So that's basically real time temperature guys and it's getting really hot. And wow, that is, wow, that is really, really quick. I'm going to say it here, this is the first time I've used this and I am like, blown away with how fast a portable little soldering iron connected to a 6S battery can heat up that fast. This is more my professional home station that I use. My soldering iron is just sitting up there because I'm using this stand for this one. And guys, I'm not sure which one heats up quicker. I believe they do a more expensive model. It's only like an extra $5. And I do believe that it will do 450. Um, but I'll link it in the description below if you guys want to check that out. To put some solder on your soldering iron and then put it on to where you plan to solder. And boom, just like that. So that was real time, guys. That is pretty impressive. Bunch of solder onto this one and do a real time version of this one. Go. All right, it's loosening up. You can kind of hear that. It kind of feels like it's stuck on something. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Guys, that was actually really, really quick. And there we go. That one took a little longer as well. Overall, guys, that taking me about the same time if not quicker than my one at home even on 450 it may the one at home might be a little bit quicker next example guys we're going to desolder these and throw on an XT90 connector all right guys I'll quickly set up this battery so push it on done that is it <laughs> perfect and that's on there too push it down Give it a couple of seconds. And there, that's it, done. There you go guys, a quick close up. It's pretty perfect. No dodgy connections there. Besides the fact that I forgot heat shrink. <laughs> guys, it's not every day that I get blown away with something such simple like a soldering iron. And uh, you know, just a little portable soldering iron, it takes up next to no room in your toolbox. It really is just a must have tool for people like you and me in the hobby section. And for a lot of other industries too, just chuck it in your toolbox. It, it works off a small little battery. The batteries you can get pretty cheap, not, not that big one of course. I'll leave links in the description where you can pick this up from. I'll also leave links in the description where you can pick up the cheaper one, as well as the one that's a little bit more expensive than this one that might do 450 degrees. And the overall quality of the soldering iron is just top notch. I believe there is one out there that's called the T something. That's basically the golden standard of portable soldering irons. And from what I've read of this, this is just as good. Really hats off to Secure. And Secure, if you're watching this, I would actually really love to review your better one than this the one that goes a little bit higher in temperature 400 definitely gets the job done but i think 450 just kind of gets it done a little bit quicker and i would love to test that out also guys really quick if you want to know where i get the music to my videos i'll leave a link in the description below i do pay a monthly fee but they're really really good um they're called filmstro i am an affiliate through them but you guys can check it out also become an affiliate if you want they've got a whole library of music there that you can just kind of go and choose from it's great they've even got an app this isn't a paid sponsorship i just wanted to mention it because i do get asked quite often where do i get my music from anyways guys that's it for this video i hope you did enjoy i really enjoyed using this thing and uh yeah i'll catch you guys next time peace out bye